Back NFL Five fans, Joseph Ramirez here. Um, promised everybody a, a, a deck tech profile. Um, I'm gonna have a few lined up here. I got about I don't know three different like ideas that are built and going through. So I'm just gonna kind of give you some ideas uh, just before we move into the 2021 set, as well as um, kind of a first-hand preview without having a full spoiler. Um, I do have, uh, you know, the Synergy Raiders um, uh, deck put together to kind of you know, give you an idea, kind of look at it. Um, and this is, you know, without full spoilers. So um, take it with a grain of salt because um, there still be, could be more that's added to it, things like that. So, um, you know, it's just to have some fun, get your guys' ideas um, flowing, um, you know, be able to, you know, take it, build upon it. Um, make it your own things like that um, just have fun with it guys um, but uh, I did want to showcase uh, this particular deck um, this particular one I had played Brian you know uh, about a couple months back I think or so now um, and had a lot of fun with it um, it's definitely something that can be uh, straight off the bat, it's an idea that just pops, um, but it's something that is definitely difficult to master, um, and I'll go over some of the things um, that I'm talking about here. If you'd like a, a little bit of a challenge, as well as, uh, you know, kind of putting yourself behind the eight ball, um, this is something that really could use a lot of critiquing and a lot of things that you can just kind of do and throw out there um, to go with it. Um, of course, this is the um, nickname, the, the Luck Sack deck, um, going uh, off of Andrew Luck. Um, Andrew Luck from uh, Starter 2019, uh, exhaust, flip over the top card of your play deck. That card becomes the play for this down. Uh, so he audibles uh, right off the bat as a exhaust effect. Um, and I, I really wanted to keep it solid cults which I, I could have to just, you know, kind of do the synergy thing uh, before synergy was a thing. Um, it was an idea. And uh, if you look, uh, so Andrew Luck audibles, and then you've got 2019 Marlon Mack, 2019 Paris Campbell, uh, who both uh, essentially do the same thing. Um, but uh, Marlon Mack says, Ron, look at the top two cards of the play deck, put one on top, the other on the bottom of the deck, uh, or you can put both on top in any order. So uh, he lets you stack the deck uh, for you, Andrew Luck, uh, and uh, get the play that you need. Uh, Paris Campbell, uh, rookie card, uh, receive, look at the top two cards of your play deck. You put one on top, uh, the other on bottom, or you can put both on top in any order. Um, so they both do the exact same thing, one for run, one for pass or receive. Um, so they just help you stack the deck for the next uh, down. And the majority of the time, guys, um, you do this, you want to keep both on top, right? Um, because you're peeking at what your next play card is going to be drawn. And then you get to know what your audible on top is. So the key component to that is um, something like this, right? Um, I have short pass and run right in my hand um, and run right's an eight. So what I can essentially do is uh, I stack it on top uh, with short pass being the one in my hand. Well, I know that run right is up next and I have a strength of eight. So you will mental note both of those things because let's say I play short pass, right? And short pass is there and it stopped. They play their short pass, but you want to look at their strength, right? And the, their play has a strength of one. So you're like, great. That's, that's awesome. Because now I'm just going to, uh, any on-field adjustments, uh, we're going to play through. Uh, and um, of course, you're going to Andrew Luck, right? And if you Andrew Luck them immediately, it's a lot harder for them to respond with anything else 
because it's going to end up flipping a new play. And so there's a lot of really, when do you do it? When do you not do it? Do you play other things first and then layer this after? Um, so there's a lot, like I said, of trying to master uh, the particular thing and things to note, like uh, you got to know the play strength, know what the next play is, know their play strength um, and, and kind of burn through there. Um, so there's a lot of things that this kind of deck would get around and that's like outperform, outwork, um, those types of things that change the play because you can play around those things. Um, if they outperform or outwork here on this, um, it, it essentially does nothing when you Andrew Luck and it's going to change that particular play. So that just goes away. Now, um, let's say in the example we do that, there's one, um, uh, they, they have a one short pass for one strength and then we audible into Andrew Luck. Now, when we audible into Andrew Luck, it's now a run right. They have a strength of one. We have a strength of eight. So now it's a nine. So they're running for 45 yards, which is max. And then I can run with Marlon Mack, which lets me then stack the deck for next turn. Doing essentially the exact same thing. Now, every single one is in bittersweet, but when you do do it and you do pull off like big games, if you watch the gameplay video that I had with Brian, um it was a very very close game he played a lot of really like his defense was um still one of the strongest out of 2020 um and so he never went away from that defense he always played that defense and even with that being like one of the top uh top tiered uh defenses uh this was still able to keep up with certain things like that um a lot of minus yards um because again we don't gain any additional yards on this. It's just flipping over a new play. And that's where optimizing the play deck also helps because um, you can make, you know, decisions to where um, I go into, you know, long pass. You could set up this long pass to be like, well, he's got a five strength. I've got a one that's going to make it a six. It's going to hit for 70 yards. Bam, flip it over 70 yard bomb. Uh, they still, I, I think if you watch the video, I did something um, to that effect, got a 70 yard play, and then he was able to like negate 25 of it. And it's like, uh, well, that's rough, you know, um, doing all that work to, to, to kind of get, um, uh, you know, push back like that. But um, neither here nor there. Um, the deck is a lot of fun. Like I said, there's a lot of intricate pieces to it. Uh, this is the main synergy, the main combo, of course, just the Colts. Um, and like I said, if you, if like, let's say, um, in your, uh, play group or your league or whatever in your local store, or even at home, you say, okay, well, we're going to play a game of, um, all synergized teams. You have to play mm -hmm. the tribal, you know, all cults, all chiefs, all graders, whatever. Um, I would definitely put the cults up there, um, as a deck for fun. Uh, you can add, you know, two more Colts on offense and, you know, throw the Colts defense uh, in there and, and still do formidably well. I think they're, it's, they're still very strong, and that's without 2021. With 2021, we may see an increase uh, of the popularity to that, maybe actually even better. Um, to round out the rest of the deck, of course, I got Josh Rosen. Um, he's, you know, Rosen Luck uh, was a good combo initially before the errata, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Rosen just says, uh, you exhaust, look at the top two cards of the play deck, put one on top, the other on bottom, or you can put both on top in any order, or you can put both on bottom in any order. Uh, so he lets you do that little extra added um, piece, honorary cult here, um, just because, uh, you know, to be able to do basically one, two, three downs of uh, being able to look at the peak at the top, uh, part, top two. Um, so it's very, very good in the fact that, uh, you know, uh, when you go uh, first down, first down would be Josh Rosen. Look at the top two. Um, whew, excuse me. Then you can Andrew Luck and, uh, you know, get your get your play started um, or, um, you know, uh, then that that's first down, second down, third down, depending on what you go into run or pass. And so. Um, you're almost always, uh, you know, able to do that. Um, then I threw this guy in here for fun. Um, and this is actually a really neat combo. 
Um, so Mark Ingram uh, allows you to do a lot of little combo intricate pieces. Uh, Mark Ingram says exhaust, gain an additional five yards. And at the end of the play, you may remove this player from the field. And if you do replace it with another uh, offensive player on the bench, exhaust only during player designation. So what happens is it, you get to see uh, prior to uh, picking players to put on the, on the field, uh, you get to draw your uh, plays in your, your starting hand, right? So whenever I would draw a starting hand and I would draw an overload, uh, this is 2019 uncommon uh, overload. Uh, action offense, put an extra player on the field for this play. Remove that player at the end of the play. Um, so the combination with this and Ingram, which is really cool, um, is that um, you can essentially get a, another, um, you get another instance of Josh Rosen. So what you do is, uh, because I have overload, I play these guys on my field. And then what I do is I play overload prior to selecting the play to bring in Josh Rosen. And then with Josh Rosen, you can do his ability on the uh, on-field adjustments, and then you can Andrew Luck, right? And then when you gain the successful play, you can Mark Ingram. And Mark Ingram gives us the extra five. And then at the end of the play, he gets moved back down. So because overload and Ingram are both end of play effects, I'm turn player that will get to choose in the order of which they resolve. So in this case, I would take Rosen and put him on the bench first with overload and then trigger Ingram to put him on the bench and then put Rosen onto the field. And since he comes onto the field, he's energized. And so now on the next down, I can then Rosen again. And so then it's first down, second down, third down, fourth down. Um, so I get uh, an extra instance of that. So a little cool idea. Um, and it, it's a lot of fun when it happens. Um, and so um, it's pretty cool. Um, one of the new synergies uh, allows you to uh, substitute every down. So there's something that you could actually do with that. Um, you know, a little combo piece instead of overloading. Um, you could just um, Ingram, uh, bring out Rosen you know, do his ability, uh, and then into the play, boom, do it again. But you'd have to skip one down, essentially. Um, but not, not a bad little idea. Um, so this is the offense, a uh, lot, a lot of fun. Um, defensive side of the ball wanted to go strictly Colts, but um, Darius Leonard uh, for 2020, who um, is now probably one of the most busted uh, uh, defenders in the game. Um, with, uh, with the errata or not errata, but with the rules changes for Sue, um, this guy is by far, um, problematic in the most busted card, uh, on defense. Um, Darius Leonard, 2020 exhaust, choose one of your opponent's players on the field to legally allow to do so that player runs or receives the ball instead play only during after player designation. So there's a lot of things that say this player has to be designated, but really, there's not a lot um, so or not a lot that that you run or if you do run it's only that one time so like you don't have to use Darius Leonard and so you can't make the argument to say like well I play Travis Kelsey and he says you know that uh, you have to designate him sure so that one time you exhaust Travis Kelsey now he has to be the uh, the designated player that doesn't mean I have to use Darius Leonard um, I can just keep him. And then on the next play, I disrupt your whole idea by just making you choose someone else as your runner or receiver. So um, very problematic. Um, definitely, uh, whenever you build a deck um, on high level competitive play, you got to keep this guy in mind because um, there's no reason why you wouldn't run this guy. Um, he disrupts so many different things uh, offensively, defensively, helps. Uh, you to get that extra. So very, very good. Him out the way. Uh, Justin Houston, I talked about this guy before. He's very underrated 2020. Uh, he's basically a forced audible. Uh, exhaust, you and your opponent each flip over the top card of your play deck instead of drawing plays for the down. This become your current play. 
and exhaust prior to selecting play. So this, I mean, this guy is absolutely insane um, when it comes to, um, you know, that third down, I really need to throw the ball or I really need to, you know, run, uh, you know, this guy says, nope, you get to pill whatever's on top. And so like, we're strictly going straight into on-field adjustments. Uh, I've done this where I play him and they flip over uh, the unique play and it just, it just awful, right? It's just terrible. Um, it just gets stopped by anything um, or, or I've seen it where, you know, you just exhaust and then, you know, you do the exact same play. So uh, it's interesting. Um, definitely underrated. Very, very good. Um, uh, Jamal Shield, uh, Sheard, I don't know, this butcher this guy's name. Poor guy, defensive end tackle on a run left, run right. Uh, the play gains 15 fewer yards if the runner is not a running back. So as I stated before with Justin Leonard or Darius Leonard, oh goodness, Darius Leonard says I get to choose who it's going to run with. Uh, I'll just choose your quarterback and then I'll leave, make you lose 15. So um, there's a little combo, a little synergy there with that. Um, so um, the Colts, like I said, I, I could go pure Colts and I can add a, you know, a couple more Colt guys and then call it, you know, a uh, Colt synergy team. Um, for this uh, particular uh, game, the gameplay, of course, I played uh, Luke Keekley, um, just a good solid staple to have just in case. And then my other one was uh, Mark, uh, uh, Melvin Ingram, uh, Melvin Ingram, because, you know, uh, for uh, Melvin Ingram is usually put in uh, all the time because you would uh, Darius Leonard and, and Jabal. So then they lose 15 and then you can do this to ready them and then do it again. Um, you could also go, um, you know, they run a play Darius Leonard to mess up their, uh, destruction. And then on second down, you just in Houston them, and then you can just ready them just in Houston again. So now they didn't get to pick twice. And then you could Darius Leonard, whoever else you want to designate as their, um, player. So very disruptive on defense, a very, very strong defense, even with just these guys, uh, these guys in Melbourne room, real solid. So, um, pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, real quick, uh, I won't go over the plays. Like I said, guys, I, I, you know, the play is always something that I tell you guys that you can, you know, spice, make up your own flavor. Um, there's certain things that you'd like to look for, um, as far as what your play style is. Um, so as a coach, if you're run heavy, pass heavy, um, you like it 50, 50 balance or, you know, things like that. Um, that's something that you would, uh, you know, I, I would say can pretty much be whatever. Um, that's not an issue. So, so I won't go too much into like the plays uh, again, because uh, it, it's definitely something that, um, you can definitely put your own spin on. Um, if it's, if it's dire that like, Hey, I need you to run these specific plays for a specific deck, then I'll tell you, this is my idea. This is what you should probably run. Now, obviously in this particular deck, you want to keep it very spread. Um, as far as your play calls, you don't want to have too much of the same because you can see where you would, um, you know, flip over one and then flip over the same play, uh, which we would see the new Patrick Mahomes would be something that would, uh, help you benefit, uh, away from that. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, uh, over to the actions. Of course, I played two overloads uh, per the combo, obviously. So it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, exhaust, because Darius Leonard's a thing. And uh, we want to be able to pick who we want to be able to pick who we run with, who we uh, catch the ball with, things like that. So we don't want him to disrupt us. Energize. Two copies of Energize, because you want to basically reuse Andrew Luck um, multiple times. Um, because obviously, you know, it just helps because the deck is about audibling. So you want to be able to use that a couple times. And speaking of which, uh, something you won't see in like any other uh, deck or deck profile thing, um, we're going to go with the, the audible package. So uh, two audibles, two draw plays. Um, I think this card's really, really bad. I told uh, Brian, I said, this card just sucks because um, you basically it's so reliant and restricted. It's so restricted that you have to 
only play it during on-field adjustments, only if you call the pass play, and only if the pass play strength is between two and five. I was able to, if you watch the video, I was able to hit this and I was able to get a five. Um, and I was super ecstatic too. Just, oh my God, I got it to, got it to work. That's how draw play should work. It becomes run middle, um, but only on a two through five. So the most you can do on this is, uh, you know, five times five. So you're like, eh. um, I wanted to cut this card, but I decided to keep it in because it was just thematic for the deck. Just to try it out. Uh, pass audible. Um, you know, you run a pass play, you can audible, uh, run audible, you know, self-explanatory run play, gets audible out. Screen pass, because it's essentially an audible. Uh, I run a run play and then I can just dump it off, um, you know, 15 yards short, uh, short pass. And then of course, outwork, outperform, uh, because, you know, they're staple and you kind of need them to make sure that you're, um, your plays are successful. So um, you just got to be careful with these guys because you can't always um, use them and then Andrew Luck because you're not going to get anywhere. It's going to change the play. You can't do them after Andrew Luck because then, you know, there's, there's nothing there to do. Um, which is interesting because I believe there was an incident there where, you know, I, I play out work uh, to boost uh, over, over nothing. And then I Andrew luck on top and then he flips the new play. And since the new play is there, then it outworks the new play. And since I already know what the new play on top is, it helps me to outwork, uh, correctly. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's, it's a lot of strategy and it's definitely something that is, uh, uh, a lot of fun, but also can rack your brain. Um, uh, because we played the exhibition match, uh, with myself and Brian, I had a notepad um, to kind of keep track of, um, I kept track of the play, the next play, uh, strength, um, and then of course grit is very important. So you want to know what the type is, what the strength is, and then what the grit is. So a um, lot to keep up with, but definitely a lot of fun. I recommend you guys try it out, um, you know, when you're uh, you know, want something to, to try and build, um, and, uh, definitely recommend it. I would give it, um, definitely, um, three and a half stars, um, as far as, um, fun factor. Um, it's definitely uh, like a four or 4.5 for fun factor. Um, but definitely in the 4.5 to five when it comes to, um, strategy, um, and, and being a difficult way to pilot. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, but until next time, guys, have a great one. We'll see you during 2021 or in the next video when I do uh, another Deck Tech Profile. Guess have a good day.